Mr. Um, Chairman, you've got animal control listed here on the agenda. Yes. I don't see that as a separate item. There's something missing something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's on a brown. I have its own tab, but it's not a line item in the budget. It's so much. Health and human services. Health and human services? Yes. Yeah. That's the official plan. Pest control? 4414? No, it's page 5410. No, I know it's that. Fourteen. Yes. Right. That's called pest control. No, it's not. No, excuse me. No, it's not. It's under the annual report, well, oh. which we send this to the state yeah, Department of Revenue Administration. Is that last year? That's, that's correct. That's a DRE. Right. And so that's the legal. That's the legal name of it. Forty-four fourteen pest control. Right. That's the legal name of it. According to the DRA, so Department of Revenue. DRA, that is right. Scary. And we're trying to go by line items, correct, Mr. Chairman? Yes. And that's what the line item is called, Pest Control 4414, although we also know it as Animal Control Locally. Right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Did you make a motion, Tim? No, I was trying to find it. Oh, okay. I couldn't because of the name is different, and I, now I found it. Yeah. All, right. All right. Would you like to make a motion? Yeah, as soon as I find it in our I budget I would like book. to make the motion to move $158,189 for Animal Control. I think you're in the wrong page. Animal control is one fifty. No, 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 no. Forty-four nine thirty-nine. It's it's fifty-four nine thirty-nine, Jenny. You're yeah. Page fifty-four. I, I will move fifty-four thousand nine hundred and thirty-nine dollars. Oh, okay. okay. Under account forty-four fourteen, known as pest control by the DRA, known locally as animal control. Would you like to second that, Jenny? No. <laughs> do, I have, do I have a second? Do I have a second? Do I have a second on that, please? Sorry, no, Regina seconded it. Okay. Any any um, any discussion on on animal control officer? Uh, first of all, perhaps you could explain animal control. Sure. Um, animal control officer for many years uh, was Pete McKinnon, who uh, retired recently. Uh, his primary role is to enforce uh, town ordinance and state laws in regards to dogs and licensing. It encompasses so much more than that over the years. For, for 30 years, Peter just did an incredible job helping everybody with things that, quite frankly, probably weren't our province. They were more animal control but because of the uh, uh, fish and game. Uh, but because of his expertise, uh, it just became part of what we do. Um, Pete was this, you call and you got a raccoon getting into your trash. Not really the animal control officer when you look at it, but we took care of it. Pete had that, we had the plot to have a hot traps. Uh, you got the rabies shots and the things that you need to have to do that type of work. And we just got it done for people. Uh, it's just one of those things, it's primarily the, the, the dogs and the licensing. But it just comes into any problem with, with animals, be it domestic or, or otherwise. We do make a legitimate attempt to try to help out people with those problems before they have to call, you know, a, a private entity and pay out of pocket big money to get a bat out of your house. Those type of things, Pete kind of fills the gap in on. And uh, with his retirement, we now have a new animal control officer that's filling the same. We've explained to him that we want to continue Pete's legacy of service. So that's what we continue to do. Wages are down because he's he doesn't get a pay. He was at a senior step right. under the CBA. The new ACO is at the first step. Um, okay. Any questions? Yeah. Any, any yeah comments? Questions? It's nice that the total line item is down five percent. Yep. Five point eight four eight percent. Yep. <laughs> but your um, overtime wages are up fifty seven percent. Can you speak to that, please? Yes. Thank you. Pete McKinnon had 30 years on the job. UACO has a couple of months. We anticipate training and seminars to be current with things to get to that level where you should maintain. Thank you. And you've got um, supplies and expenses up 40, almost 43 percent. Can you speak to that? Yes. A lot of the items. Uh, I ordered an inventory of all our equipment uh, dealing with the animal control officer, um, the firearms that we have to use. Sometimes, unfortunately, we have to dispatch an animal, and some of the, tra the traps. Stuff was getting old. Uh, mm -hmm. It just wasn't really what I felt was 
safe or up to standard so that uh, accounts for some expenses we anticipate spending on items of that nature. So, um, and uniforms. No, probably uniforms or another line. Yeah, the, so uh, some of this is really equipment. It's going to last multiple years, right? So. Yeah, most of the have a hot traps. The problem with those is, is they're made out of like, most of them are made out of like a, almost a wire mesh. Yeah. Oh. Um, and you get down to some of the areas we are in the, next to marshes and the salt, hmm. they corrode pretty quickly. Hmm. So it won't necessarily be at this level every year, I guess is my question. I wouldn't think so. No, we, okay. we have some initial things we want to get done. Thank and you. then we can probably back off on that line a little bit over the years. I'm ready to vote favorably on this. Anybody else have a comment first? Seeing none, those in favor? Unanimous.